I want to share with you some absolutely amazing geometric gems that really are based on just cones. And not surprisingly, they're called conic sections. Because what we're going to do is we're just going to take a cone like this, and we're going to slice and dice it in all sorts of different ways. So imagine an upside down ice cream cone, if you will, or you could do it this way and then be more. OK, so here's the first question. What if we were to cut this cone in a way that actually is parallel to the base? What would we get? Well, you could almost make a guess if you want. Let's try it right now live. So we're going to come down to the chopping cam here. And if you bring it down, and I now I have to cut it, you see, parallel to the base. And here I go. Oh, my. No one said math is easy. Mm -hmm. Ah. But when you do it, what, what do you, you get? get? You get something, a circle. You get a perfect circle. Let me actually now show you one that has been done in advance. You're going to love this one. This is really cool. Maybe as cool as mine. Check it out. So here's the cone. And when you cut it, look at that. Perfect circle. So a circle is an example of a conic section. But you're saying, hey, I want other conic sections. And I'm saying, you know what? I understand. And the question now is, what happens if we were to cut it, but just a little bit kind of askew some way, what would we get? Well, I think you can almost visualize that it seems like we'd get something that's kind of like a circular thing, but it would be kind of oval. Well, let's see if that actually happens. Let's go right now live to the chopping board cam. I'm going to cut, cut a little skew. I'm going to cut a little skew like this. Let's see what happens. You ready? Here we go. A skew. A skew cut. cut. Ah. 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 Ooh. Wow. That was a skew. Excuse me, please. But what do I get? Check out what you get. You do get an oval type shaped thing. And in fact, this oval is an example of what's called an ellipse. And now, let's try another one. So here's an edge right here, and I want to cut parallel to that edge. What would I get? Let's see what we get. So let's go live to the cutting board cam. And now I'm going to try to cut parallel to this. The sound effect really just helped me. Look at that. That is something you've seen and loved before. That is an example of a parabola. A parabola is another example of a conic section. Now I'll show you a really beautiful one. Check it out. Here's a real pretty one. And what do I get? I get a beautiful sad face or happy face parabola. Isn't that neat? We're done with the cooking segment part of this. So I'm going to watch how I can make the I can make a Ginsu knife disappear. Watch this. Woo! Thank you very much. And now I'm going to make the cutting board disappear. Ready? Thank you very much. OK, the ellipse is a slight generalization. Where what we do is we take two fixed points. You can actually try this with a pin and some string. And let, I'll try doing that right now live. Here we go. Oh, shoot. OK. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going live. Oh, now look at that. That actually is an example of an ellipse. It's a very special type of oval. Not every oval is an ellipse, but every ellipse is an oval. And it's, it's given by these two points, which are called the foci. So here you can see an actual attractive version of one that's a longer and narrower, you can see. But that's how you build them. Now, you can actually build the other conic sections in, in kind of a similar way. But they're a little bit more complicated. Give me a particular point. Boom. Give me a particular line. Boom. Now, this is weird. This, this is weird. weird. Because you see this length here, it's supposed to equal this length right here. And notice that that length is the same as taking this length and subtracting that length. And so this length and that length are the same. Hard to kind of see, isn't it? It's a little more complicated. But that is a geometric way of producing the uh, hyperbola. So the bottom line is conic sections come from taking a cone and slicing and dicing in various ways. Anyway, the important thing is that you now appreciate the beautiful geometric objects known as the circle, ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. I'll see you soon.